think mine is yellow. Bit of yellow. My yellow notepad. <laughs> What's happening, folks? It's Matt Kitson here from Kitson Consultancy. Crash landing into your newsfeed with another video. Today, we are going to be talking about the importance of note taking. We're actually going to be going through this blog by Inc.com, which is talking about Richard Branson and uh, his thoughts on note taking. I have heard before that he is a prolific note taker and I myself am a fan of the traditional way of taking notes uh, with a pen. And so I was interested to give this a little read. So we're gonna just dive straight in. <laughs> Okay, so Richard Branson says you'll be more successful if you develop this daily habit. Branson says that success is in the details, so he takes notes of every single one, literally. Some of Virgin's most successful companies have been born from random moments. If we hadn't opened our notebooks, they would have never happened. Richard Branson wrote this in a recent blog post. Note-taking is a simple process, yet Branson believes that most leaders neglect to break out a notepad to record their thoughts and the ideas generated in conversations. One of the reasons that I really like taking notes live with a pen, with paper, is that when ideas or whatever just randomly pop into my head that I think could have a slight chance of being useful to me, I can just write them down on a piece of paper so I don't forget them. Would you feel embarrassed to show up at a meeting with a notebook instead of a notepad? Branson says you need to get over it. Many people think uh, writing notes is below them, but everyone should be doing it and it can greatly improve what you do. We may believe that will retain a good idea, but an entrepreneur has a lot on their mind and even the brilliant Branson admits to forgetting things before he leaves the room. Branson says that no matter how big, small, simple or complex an idea is, you should write it down. But don't uh, just take notes for the sake of taking notes. Go through your ideas and turn them into actionable and measurable goals, he wrote. Yeah, I think that's really true. One of the ways that I try to do that is to take notes next to like um, a numbered list of things on my to-do list. And then I'll rank order things in um, terms of level of importance or time in the day that I'm going to be able to do them. So things on the bottom of uh, the list are things that I know that I'll want to do at the end of the day, usually tasks that I enjoy doing. And at the start of the day, I like to reserve that for the tasks and ideas and things that I want to do that maybe I don't want to do, more like admin stuff that doesn't really uh, get me going. Ah, general. For improved battery life, it is recommended that you update Windows. Deal with that later, I think. Why note-taking by hand is superior to using a keyboard. Research suggests that when laptops are used to take notes, it results in shallower processing. We're more likely to remember conceptual information better when note-taking is done with pen and paper. Handwriting your ideas, outside input challenges, they send signals to the brain so you remember them, blah, blah, blah. Now, I bet that most of us can relate to that from uh, revision for exams. I know for me, writing things down uh, has helped. Like if I just read something, um, I'm less likely to remember it than if I'm actually taking active notes. The New York Times quoted a psychologist whose name I'm not going to try and say as saying that when we put pen and paper together, a unique neural circuit is automatically activated. There is a core recognition of blah, 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 blah. All right. Very interesting. Of course, taking notes won't matter if you don't follow through. Use your notes to develop ideas, problem solve, create goals. Branson points out that Virgin Atlantic's success is in the small details, which means nothing can be forgotten or delayed. My notebook is a pretty pale pink. What about yours? I think mine is yellow. Bit of yellow. My yellow notepad. Okay, cool. Well, it was a shorter article than I anticipated. I expected the, uh, the lowdown on uh, all things note-taking related from Richard Branson, but um, to no avail, apparently, slightly shorter that article. Um, but I have since found another one, 
which seems to elucidate a little bit more as to the actual strategy that Richard Branson has for his notes. I'm going to read it. This one is also on Inc.com, so it wasn't hard to find. Billionaire Richard Branson does this at every meeting. Here's why you should do it too. This overlooked skill is one of the most powerful tools in the billionaire's bag of business tricks. It's a lot of bees. A lot of bees. And I think this is written by Brenda Barbrosa. I see a correlation, Brenda. Was it Brenda? Yeah, it's Brenda. Wherever he goes, Richard Branson always has something to write with, whether it's a trusty tech device or good old fashioned pen and paper, the iconic businessman never lacks something with which to take notes. In fact, note taking is a skill Branson swears by. He's nearly religious about it. I go through dozens of notebooks every year and write down everything that occurs to me each day. Branson wrote in a company blog post, Blah, blah, blah. An idea not written down is an idea lost. I agree with that. When inspiration calls, you've got to capture it. And sometimes it does call. And um, I think when you're, particularly when you're running your own business, you're absorbing different things throughout the day. You're playing around with different ideas. You're gauging things from your team. Your team teach you things. So ideas are just being thrown your way all the time. And, uh, you know, it's impossible to remember them. Also, I find some ideas I remember in the context of the moment as well, like whatever I'm doing at that moment has fed that idea. And then when I'm away from that moment, it's like, I don't know. Virgin very much has a notebook culture with people always jotting ideas down, trying new things and not settling for the same old way, Branson wrote in a blog post. Maybe his perchance for note-taking arose from having a poor memory, Branson guesses, or maybe it was the byproduct of growing up dyslexic. Whatever the reason, he credits note-taking for many of his most successful ventures. I can't tell you where I'd be if I hadn't put the pen on hand to write down my ideas, or more importantly, other people's. As they uh, came to me, Branson wrote in a company blog post, some of Virgin's most successful companies have been born from random moments. If we hadn't opened our notebooks, they'd have never happened. Okay, stuff, stuff, stuff. Kind of covered that on the last one. Okay, cool. We've got some good points now. Let's go through these. So how do you overcome some of these challenges? Avoid transcribing notes. Use shorthand instead or jot down key ideas rather than writing what the speaker is saying word for word. For visual thinkers, drawing a picture or an illustration may be more useful as business consultant, blah, 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 says in his talk. Okay, that's a good idea. And um, yeah, I like just writing a little phrase or something like that to help me remember. Review notes immediately and regularly. It's not enough to record the ideas and information gleaned. You have to refer to them often to assess whether or not they make sense. Also, that goes back to that thing they were saying in the last one about how you can integrate those ideas into goals and then maybe structure them in whatever way that you want to. Or whether there are gaps that need to be filled. Research has shown that more regularly, uh, regularly a note taker reviews his notes, the more likely he is to retain and synthesize the information learned. No matter how big or small, write it down. To type or not to type? That is the question which unfortunately has no clear answer. Some research suggests that pen and paper activates parts of the brain that lead to better understanding and focus, while others suggest electronic devices are more efficient. Whatever tool you use, it's up to you. How you capture the information isn't what matters. My iPad and phone are daily companions, wrote Branson in the uh, company blog post. Meanwhile, my daughter Holly uses a digital notepad she can write on. That is a wonderful combination of two worlds. It doesn't matter how you record the notes as long as you do. Ah, oh, good stuff. Okay, so um, that's how Richard Branson takes notes. So comment down below what you thought of that blog. Did you think it was useful? What did you reckon? Are you taking notes at the moment? Do you find that note taking is useful to you? Or are you more of a spontaneous person that just does things in the moment? And maybe you're the sort of person who's a super genius who remembers everything that pops into your head. And if that's you, congratulations. So subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more content like this. We keep it coming three, four, five times a week. We keep it coming very, very often. If you wanna learn more about how you can generate leads for yourself, you don't need to take any notes. 
because I've taken all the notes for you. So you can check out our ebook for free by going through to our website and getting your free ebook copy for you to have. And then you can take notes if you want, but it's there for the taking if you want it. Subscribe, I think we've said that. You can follow us. It's not Kitson underscore consultancy anymore. It's Matt underscore Kitson underscore because people were struggling to find us. So hopefully there'll be no more struggle and I'll look forward to seeing you on there. But until the next time, when I will be back, I wish you all the very, very best. In fact, note taking is still a... Note taking is still... Is a cut that part.